Welcome back. Uh, now today's tutorial will be creating a fintech app that a user can actually buy airtime, send airtime, and also make transfer. So let's get started. So we're going to use the iPhone 14 Pro for this, and then I'm going to create a background on this. make sure that this is the same size with the iphone 14 if you notice i have a background color that we'll be using so i would select the background here that's the rectangle and then i will pick this particular color here so directly i would just quickly rename this to my background and then we are going to lock this so after locking that the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to pick um some illustration from story set by free pick so i'm picking some illustration so if you don't have that yet you can just search for story set by free pick so you would get that option story set by free pick so that should give you this option so you click on the run and then i'll be searching for three different illustration all at once so the first one i would be making as the payment i'll be searching for payment so on the payment we have uh, different options so i would just pick uh this but before i do that i want to remove the background details if you notice there are background details here so we have the options of this background details i'm going to hide them so now all the background details are gone then I'm going to change the color so I will be picking this gray here so now I have this color here so I would click on this particular illustration so it just automatically adds that here so the next illustration I'll be looking for is for shopping shopping so from here I can actually look for one of this and then pick so here I will be removing also the background details. So I think I'll pick this too. Just drag and drop it here. Then the last one here, it will be fast. So I can actually pick this. Okay, I think I would undo that. It says replaced my other icon. Undo this. So I will look for the second one, which is the shopping. Is the first I did, I drop it on the same position with the other one. So shopping, I would just pick one of this. So I'm picking this still. I'll just drop it somewhere. Please don't click on them. Once you click on it directly, it replaces the previous one. So having this now, I'm going to resize this is my icon here the illustration so i'll just resize this and then just try to drag it and drop it here so i'm still going to resize this here so we have this illustration so i will just say make payment with ease so i'll break the make payment with ease with ease so i think we're missing the letter e here so i'm going to make this 30 and then the text line should be center so let's just give this some um, maybe semi bold yeah make payment with ease so i'm going to drag this down a little so please we're going to center this with the uh, background so that is centered and i have some dummy text here because you can copy that from lorem i think i will just drag it and then bring it here so with my dummy text then the next thing i want to do is i want to create some indicators so here i'll just give it a width of 30 and then a height of 12 so from this i can quickly 
duplicate so i would duplicate this and then this the weight will be 12 and then the border radius will be 10 and i think i should make this border radius also 10 so we have this i'll duplicate this to create the second one because we'll be having th three screens here so i will select the two and then we perform the horizontal spacing to make sure that the spacing between them are all even so i've grouped this three one two three and then i can align them to center so the first one i think we're going to make it i'll give it a color of white so white should do okay, to show that that's the active page so then the next one is um, we can give the user an option to skip this process I tell them they can actually skip this if they don't want to check the next page here so after that um, I can add a button here button to tell them to move to the next stage so I will give this a border radius of let's say 50 and then we can give this a color white and uh, we can tell the user to proceed proceed and uh, okay the text should have the same color with the background and let's try to increase maybe the width of this and then let's drop the height to let's say 48 so please i'm going to group this to but before i do that i will align it horizontally and also vertically then i group this into g so before we proceed i just want to add some screen settings here so we want to add some layout so to do that you have to click on the layout grid but to click on that you must click on your frame here make sure you're clicking on the iphone 14 pro or whatever screen you're having then we're going to add a layout grid so adding this we can change the number of columns to six so i can change this because i'm designing for an iphone i just want the margins to be slim so you see having this now will just give me a proper guide on where to place this item here but i don't want to be using grid all the time so we can add a view here and then you can check your ruler if your ruler are not checked you can click on it once you click you're going to get this numbers here so from here we can actually drag a ruler and then drop it here so if i zoom in i could just place that properly so i can also drag here and then place it somewhere here so let's look at this okay this is aligned perfectly so i will just use that and snap my button make sure that my button is just touching this here just grab this here it's touching and then the skip also i'll just make sure that it's touching here so we have this and then everything here i think it's centered i would center this again it's centered our text and our image i'll make sure it's centered so now once you have this we can quickly hide the grid and to do that please make sure you click on the iphone 14 and then just use the image icon here sorry that's overground so i would be hiding this so doing this now i think um it's gone so let's align this too to make sure that the skip is at the center so i'll select the two and then use this icon here so it's properly aligned so the next thing i want to do is i will duplicate this screen three times then we have this our icon here so i'll delete this and then resize this so but we want to make sure that we're using the same size as this so I will just check this and then probably want to resize this to something without dots. And then I'll resize this. Please, I will still make sure that I'm placing this at the center of the screen. So this, I will just use the same measurement here. 322 by 247. 322 by 247. 247. Here. So the next thing I want to do here is I want to make sure that the X and Y axis are the same. This is 36, this is 87. So this would be 36, 87. Because the X and Y just allow us to position this the same way this was here. 
so I'll do the same thing here 3 2 so I'll just pick my third illustration the one we added I'll also resize that so quickly I can do that 3 we said we're using something fixed here so I'll use this 3 2 2 here for the width 3 2 2 by 2 4 7 2 4 7 so we have this here so I can easily delete this and then drag this two items here so if we have this here then we can check the x and y x is 36 87 36 87 it is more easier to place our item with the x and y axis than trying to align them here so here we said make fast payment fast payment with ease here we said make payment with virtual card with make payment with your virtual card virtual card so we have this items here and then i think we are done with the splash screen so the next screen i want us to create is our um flash screen so i can duplicate this and then so i could just equally duplicate this first one d so that i can delete this if i'm having that here i can delete all the content here so i can highlight over this so we can give or delete this also so the name of our app that's what i want to type here so we said it's oreo oreo and then the font size is 60. so for the we need to add a make to center this Oreo center Oreo so I'm going to add a text here payment made easy so please I'm going to reduce this to 12 let's see payment made easy that's with Oreo so I just want to make this P capital letter payment made with easy made easy so for this font style i want to make this italic so let's scroll down and see okay we can make this italic so make sure that this is centered and then make sure that this also is centered so i can group this two ctrl g and then make sure that these two items are on the center of the screen so oreo payment made with ease so we have our splash screen and then we have our onboarding screens here so the next section we want to deal with is the login page and then the sign up page so i can quickly duplicate one of this screen here so i'll do with this i'll duplicate this so i'll just drag that here so that we can easily maintain our screens so i'll delete the oreo and then our background color which i will be changing here from this color to this color here so having this um we can now do one or two things so i'll create two strings here i think we can stick to the color then just add an additional color here so if we add this this can be a white color f f f f f f so we have this and then we want to give this some border radius i think this is a trending design so we want to give this two edge a border radius if we're doing this if you just come around and then try to do this this uh, you're not going to get the right thing here if you add it directly so we're going to use this arrow here so we want to add a border radius of 20 and then also to the second one we want to add 20. so we have this two border radius here so if you want something more than this you can always go ahead and increase this to maybe 30 or 25 but just don't make it too much so if i have this now i could just create the text here and tell the user this is signing this is signing here yeah. so 
so I could just make this add some text to this make this I could say like extra bold here just um, reduce the size to 50 then tell the user okay this is a sign in page here so from the sign in page we can actually add our input I'll just add an input here So our input, I could make that FA, FA, yeah. So this would come with a little border radius of let's say 10. Um, we click this back again here. So I'm going to make this a little bit darker, so that the user should be able to know that okay, this is an input field. So I'm using EC, 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 and then our border should be let's say 10 here, and then we're good. So here we're going to tell the user, given an example here, so that this is an email, and uh, we're going to reduce the size of this to 20, the font size should be medium, and then the opacity of this, I still feel this is big, so let's make this 15, your email, and then please we're going to reduce the opacity and set that to something like 60 or 70 okay that's too much so let's say we're giving that an opacity of 80 but then the color is black so in here we're going to post a uh, maybe example at gmail.com to be our placeholder at gmail.com that is our placeholder here so I will reduce the opacity of this to as low as 40 okay that's good so here let's align this items together I'll use the vertical alignment here please don't use the horizontal if not this is what you get here but we don't want this so we want this aligned here so you can do any of your manual adjustment from here so I need to group this three items Control G and I will rename this to input 1 so I can duplicate this and then try to drag this here then here we can name this to password sorry I need to edit this not delete it password so if I should do that here so I would have an asterisk so you can make it lesser or more than this So I'll just make sure that that is aligned with whatever I said on the email. Okay, so I can push that manually here. So we need to add an icon here for the password. So I'll be using Iconify for that. Iconify. So using this, I can run this and search for an I. Since the password is um, is hidden. So I, I want to make it visible, so I'll just look for an I. So I can just pick any of this. So let me go to the next page to see if we have other options. So I would pick this here. So I'll just try to drop it in the frame. So I close it. So please, the I, it's coming as a vector and it's just a single icon. I'll just remove it from the frame and delete the frame so that I can easily adjust this so i can hold shift and then reduce this eye so that we can reduce that evenly and then we just drag it here make sure it's here so i'm um, dragging this i'll just reduce this a little so we're also going to reduce the opacity of this to so let's say 40 then we just know that we have an eye icon here and I think still feel it's too big so I can lock this and then make this like 15 that's the height okay so I can center make sure you double click center this eye here good so the eye is centered so the next thing I want to do is I want to create my button Control D and then I can just drag this just the rectangle then we can tell the user if they've forgotten their password so say forgot password forgot password no okay so we can grab this and then put it somewhere here if they've forgotten your password so i'm just going to pick a red 
color here red if you want to use the same thing ff5652 and then for my button i will just use this here then we tell the user to sign in sign in so please i just mistakenly click something here i'll just quickly close that so here I would just reduce this, increase the size to 20 and then try to okay change the font width here let's make it a semi bold and then try to align this I'll select this too and then I'll adjust this and then this here make sure you're selecting the two before you perform the alignment Control G would group these two items for us and then we can easily move them around okay to sign up here then we are going to ask the user if they already have an account and then tell them to sign up here so not yet registered so if you're not yet registered you should sign up so I'm going to reduce my font size here from to back to 15 and then not yet registered so i'm going to highlight this part and then i'll come in here and then pick our color and then make this uh i think we can make it bold so this part also i'm going to highlight it and then make sure that it's just regular or medium okay Good. not yet register we tell the user they can actually sign up here so I think I also want to reduce the opacity of this part of the code. So we said we can make that 60, not yet registered, sign up. So I can perform some little alignment here. So this, I'll just take this to the top here somehow. Then this also, I will do this here. Sorry, Ctrl Z. Ctrl Z again, I'll pick this also. We have that so I forgot password then this button here then our text so from here I can quickly duplicate this to create a second screen but let's just play around with this and then give this a uh, more design this looks too plain so we can pick um, an ellipse here so since our design the name is Oreo we're just going to try and play with something Oh, it's a O. Okay, it's Oreo. So let's do something here. So I'm going to reduce this, cut this. Please make sure you're selecting uh, an ellipse. So once I have this, please you can cut it anyhow. Just make sure there is a cut. So I'll reduce this here. So depending on what you want, so I'll just try to turn this around. So once I click on this, ellipse yeah, I, I should be able to turn this around but I can use the angle here so let's say I'm turning it 45 are we good so 45 just make sure you're just hiding part of this here if I'm hiding part of this I can do a lot to this I can make this um, I can add a gradient to this to make it better so I'll click on the fill and then instead of solid we can prick on the linear so once you pick on the linear this is what you want you make sure you're clicking on this point here then we drag that out that's if you want the shades to go out but what we want this time is we want to hide parts of the shades but not everything so i'll just bring this down a little something like this and i'll click on the outer one and then drag it out a little here because we don't want it to be too visible so i'll do this yeah then I'll also click on this to reduce the opacity or whatever I'm having here here okay so you can have something like this uh, you can make that better so you can always go ahead with hold shift and alt to increase the size of this depending on how big you want it to appear here so if I have this I think I'm okay the design okay we have the letter O for Uriu and then you can also duplicate this and then resize it just make it tiny 
Alt Shift down and then just bring that in here somewhere here. Then Alt Shift and then we have our tiny O here that I would use for our design. So I'm still going to resize this again. So you should be able to sit in here like this. So somebody might want to cover this so i'll show you how you can cover this so i will resize this okay good so now the whole goal is i want this to be at the back here i want to make sure okay i think this is at the back it's behind the sign in here so this is good this is what we want so we duplicate this so here we're just going to make some little changes the text here instead of signing this will be sign up sign up yeah so we have a sign up here so email so this time we're just going to push, push some things downwards here so my sign up here so here let's start with this already registered already registered already registered so it said sign in not longer sign up sign in so here I'll just push this down and then make sure it's sign up sign up so the forgot password is gone the password itself I think this particular group let me select this input 2 let's just see what is inside input 2 but I think I have a lot going on inside the input 2 so I have this button inside input 2 I'll just drag it out because I want to be able to move the input to freely and I think I also have something again here already registered it's inside so please I'm going to remove that from this group then once again I have this ellipse I don't know how they get in but uh, these are the ellipse here I'll drag them outside so I think I'm okay with my input to here I'll push that downward so we need to add some few more fields here is I need my eye icon here this control X I'll cut this then I'll select on this group too and then paste it inside then I can easily just adjust that so here I'll click on this try to adjust this to center okay good so we can duplicate this so let me push this downwards so that we can have other columns so here i'll control d to ask the user of their phone number so we use the word phone okay. so i'll push this a little okay it's aligned here so i could just put plus two three four let's say eight one zero one eight one three one zero three three seven zero so that's the example for your phone number then the next one is it duplicates that again and drag that out so please we have to push these two items downward a little since this is our registration page password goes down phone number goes down okay so yeah, I think I don't want to duplicate let me duplicate this Control D push that down so that I will just have less edits so this should take in their full name. Let's see, take in full name. So here, example would be John Doe, E.G. John Doe. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I have John Doe. So I'll align this here also. It's aligned. Same thing with my password. I think it's aligned also. So we have this sign up page here. So I think um we can do more instead of sign up, we just tell the user to create an account. Create an account. An account. Create an account. Please I'm going to reduce that size. And I want to take away the space that is here. Please create an account. I'll reduce the size to 40 since the 
this thing how much so I'll reduce that to 40 40 and uh, I was trying to see if I could okay my text alignment I'll change that to left so create an account here they should still serve create an account I think this looks better so now we might likely want to make some adjustment with these colors here I think they don't look too good we can make them a little bit lighter so I could just pick them okay I think this looks better okay good so please in case you can just um, use the new color I'm having pick them pick make sure you're double clicking to change the colors pick pick here so now we have this screen so the next screen I want us to create is the verification screen so once the user have ver been verified we should be able to just create or pop a message so let's create one item before we move so I'll create a button here so I will just try to make this a square so we'll just make it let's say 40 by 40 40 by 40 so give it a border radius of 10 the same with the buttons and make the background white so this will be my back button i think the radius is too much so i just try five okay so two small six so i would use iconify to pick up uh, an icon here so i would call this icon back so we are navigating back so i'll be using the ios icon for back which is this i'll just drop it here so let's see okay my icon is there but uh i need to bring it to the top please i'm removing it from the vector and i'll delete the vector here so i have this icon here i'll just make sure it's centered with this please highlight the two if not you're not going to get the result we want so after doing that i would select this vector alone and then change the color to this so this would be my button so i just want to give this some little shadow select the rectangle give it an effect and uh, the drop shadow the blur should be thin and uh, the y axis should be two we don't want that much uh, one let's see okay one is cool so let's just see around that okay i think that looks great so we can select the two and then group it control g and then please we can rename this to back back and then we can copy this control c and then make sure you select this screen and paste it here i think it will appear on the same line so i would click on this and then duplicate this screen so we want to create a verified account i think clicking on this it's more so let's use this because the very create verify an account it's more similar to this page here so i'll drag this and then drop this here so we can verify the user account so let's start by okay, i'll delete this text here let's just or we can just edit that to account verification account verification verification then i'll delete this i'll also delete this and then we are make we'll make sure that we change the background color to white okay so i'll change that to white then that means i'm changing my color to blue account verification and then if we make that black it should look better and should stand out so i'm using this gray here so if you want to use the same color code this is it so i will just tell the user that an otp an otp has been sent to then their email or phone number plus two three four eight one zero asterisk asterisk three three seven zero so we can reduce the size of this text here so i'll just give this 12 an otp has been sent to your number okay let's just add this to 15 so that's visible to the user 
so if an OTP has been sent to the user then we're expecting them to type in their OTP so please I'll delete whatever I'm having left here so I would want them to insert their OTP so I would create a rectangle here to make it a square so I'll just make it 50 by 50 50 by 50 so having this I'll give it a border radius of 10 then I'm going to change the background color to white so I'll pick this white so I think white should be visible here so I'll then write the text on this 5 or maybe uh, any number or you can just use the asterisk since we don't want the OTP to be visible to the user so I'll select this and then the asterisk I'll align them to center and then I think I'm not okay with the alignment so I'll manually do that so ctrl G then I can duplicate this drag that out so after this then duplicate again then again so the last one here I think I want to change this to a number let's say six here I assume that okay the user has entered a number and it's yet to be converted to asterisk so if we have this i can quickly group these items make sure okay the spacing between them is fine ctrl g to group them and then align them to center so once the user has entered their otp the next thing is we need to verify them to see if so i'll just create a rectangle here so i will change the radius to 50 and then I'll just change the color to our native color and we just tell the user to verify verify so you can verify now here so we can make this a uh, semi bold select the two by holding your shift and then align this so for me to select two icons you have to click on shift and then select the two items so ctrl G to group this two items here so after that i think we can redirect the user to a success page ctrl d to duplicate so this page now i'll just tell the user verification successful verification successful 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 yeah so verification successful and then i'll delete this and then i'll delete this and then i can tell the user to continue 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 so i could just create a checkbox so we can use iconify and then pick a checkbox so check check okay we have that so check just drop that here and then we can okay it's a vector so we can remove that from the frame drag it out then delete the frame so here i can easily lock this and convert this to let's say 50 by 50 still doesn't look too big let's say i do 80 okay verification successful then i would center this and then change the color to this okay we can use so if I using the same color then I have to reduce this to maybe 40 by 40 okay verification successful here we tell the user to continue continue so I want to change this to icons here because we've used that so I'll open story set story set run that so here let's look for verify and see verify so let's see oh, success i think let's try success 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 oh success registration success okay so I think I can only find one success that we can use. So I would use this for my success. So, but I'm going to remove some of the icons. So I'll first of all, make sure that the background details are hidden. 
so I'll click on this and then select this item here success sorry the success should be here here then here would be password maybe OTP let's see if we get an icon for OTP good so I'll select this for the OTP so but um, we can make this better the two here we can make that better you know we already have a color we're using here so since I have the color I will just select on this field and then pick the color Control C and then when I come in here the background color I'll be using I'll just copy that and paste it here so I'll replace my success with this then I think um, OTP then success I have to search that again success this is my success and I'll replace that with this okay so now coming in here because this is not a football match or a trophy match so I could just try to delete this part of the vector here this is one good thing about free pick so we can actually delete parts of this item here the ones we don't want so you just need a little bit of patience but then we always get there so you delete them one after the other please make sure you're double clicking to actually delete whatever is there so I think uh, that is all if I should do this that is also it's like okay they are all celebrating your registration was successful welcome to the team so here account verification here registration was successful so i can just drag this and then make them closer because we said uh, if the space between items can use to tell the relationship between the items so verification successful so you can continue so uh, we'll be creating the home screen next so I can duplicate one of this to create our home screen